Hello there, everybody. So I wanted, I got this um, seven-inch tablet the other day, and so I decided to do an unboxing video and quick review of it. My first thoughts and impressions. So on the front of the box here, it's the front, the back, the side. ends so this tablet has a um, 1024 by 600 display resolution built-in Bluetooth 8 gigabytes of storage uh, front camera and battery it's supposed to last up to six hours it has a four core processor it's a seven inch display and it has Android 5.0 lollipop in it so let's open it up here So we got a quick start guide here. It's only about two, three pages long. And then we got the actual tablet. And then in the bottom here, we have a charger for it. Looks like it has a micro USB charger. So let's take a good look here at the actual tablet itself. So seven inch screen, about the right size, um, maybe a little small, has a camera here on the end we have volume down volume up the USB headphones and then power um, uh, button and then here we have a SD card slot I believe it's a micro SD card and that's about it for um, the ports and stuff we have the uh, holes here for the speaker and all our information here alrighty so let's start this up and go through the setup process and then we'll look around in it and see what it's like So the screen looks a little dim, but that could be just the settings it has. We'll go go in and see if we can make it any brighter. Color seems pretty good. The it's kind of hard to tell what the screen feels like because I still have the protective cover on, which I'm going to leave on for now. Nice startup screen there. Taking a little while to start up, might be because it's the first time. I'm not sure. Alrighty, so we'll select our language and I'll connect to my Wi Fi. All right, we'll connect to that, and then we'll wait for that to connect. All right, it's connected. We'll check check the connection now. 
Hopefully this works. My internet's been giving me some problems lately. And there we go. I am going to skip with the Google sign in. We'll skip that. Um, I'll type in the name of the person here. All right, then we got some Google services here. We can choose to have on or off. I'm gonna let them all as default. And setup is complete. You're ready to set up. Okay, ready to use. And we get this welcome, wallpaper, widgets, and settings, touch and hold background to customize. Okay, got it. So let's see what we got here. Uh, got some user manuals on here and then we got the time uh, we've got Google this here has all our Google applications so we have Google Chrome Gmail Google Plus uh, YouTube all of them and over here we have some other apps that are already installed um, let's go to the settings and see what they are. So we got uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and data, and airplane mode. We have the display. Uh, let's change brightness level. There we go. And some settings there storage let's see what the storage is all right so it says up here oops, that the total space is eight gigabytes but it says here that the firmware takes up 4.34 gigabytes so total space available is looks like 3.66 gigabytes and with everything that's installed right now, there's only 3.19 gigabytes installed. So you lose over half your 8 gigs before you even install anything. And you can add the SD card, I guess, as extra storage. But I just think it's stupid that they advertise this as 8 gigs and you only get less, well, right around 3 gigs. So little sad there I'm surprised that the firmware and everything takes that much but okay we'll go back here and then we have battery usage and some other stuff looks like we can print from this cloud print you can probably set up a network printer or if you have one and all right so we have down here on the bottom, we have the back button, the home button. So take you home. This button here brings up previous windows that you had open. Volume down. Volume up. We have camera. Which is up here in the corner. So there's my GoPro. And it may look like you don't have the home button down here, but there's faint little dots that you can hit. And then that takes you home. Got Google Chrome. Thanks. Overall, the response seems pretty good. Um, it doesn't feel sluggish or anything. Uh, the touch sensitivity is fairly good i mean if i doesn't take much to open it up um it's a nice little size easy to use and it i'm sure it'll be okay for what we're going to use it for 
but all right so there's the quick look at the um rca seven inch display voyager 2 tablet so i hope you enjoyed if you did click the like button and have a good day